Now one of the last things that I'm gonna do here is remove my existing knock points in D-loop and also inspect my center serving. My center serving looks really good. If by chance I had any type of separation underneath that center serving, I would definitely want to replace it. Um, just looking at it, I have no separation at all. Pulling on both ends, super secure, real happy with that. Otherwise, I would go ahead and use like a 0.021 or a different size uh, serving material in order for my knock fit to be proper. Because this is one of the important things about this segment is checking your knock fit. So there's several different types of knocks on the market and depending on the type of arrow you shoot or if you wanna shoot a lighted knock or if you're going from say, an X knock like this on a carbon arrow or an FMJ. Um, and then you decide, okay, I'm going to try one of those pro tours, for example, that I showed you, or I want to try an indoor arrow. Well, indoor arrow is going to have a slightly wider knock, even though it's an S knock and the way it fits the serving, it's going to be a little bit wider. So you might have to change those knock points. So you don't have pinch, you know, on the other hand, if you shot the Pro Tour and you shot that little pin knock and you had a pin knock or a G pin knock, you're gonna need a little bit smaller gap in your knock so you don't have up and down play. Um, like I said, lighted knocks, check the thickness. They could vary from your standard knock, so you might have to make that decision because we want our knock pinch to be correct. Now, a way that you can check that is take your arrow remove your point out of the end of your arrow and draw it back and see if the arrow stays down on your arrow rest. If it does, you're not pinching so hard that it's lifting that arrow up. Now what we're looking for when we come, when we look at uh, how your knock should fit the serving, you want it to be able to click on there like that. You want it to be able to turn without your peep moving. So if I can move this around, this is, pretty snug. It's definitely not excessive, but it's right on the line. Now, on the other hand, put a different knock in there. You can see this one just a little bit snug as well, but it's also okay. And that serving is going to wear a little bit as we shoot. So it's going to loosen up. Try this knock here. You can see this knock here, much different fit, right? So you don't want to have a fit that's too loose. So in that case, we may want to beef that up a little bit and maybe go to the next size up center serving. Again, if you go to a true target arrow and you try an X10, an ACE, a Pro Tour, anything that has that G pin knock or a straight pin knock, that's going to fit much tighter on that serving. So you might have to go to a smaller diameter. Um, I'm going to shoot a standard X knock. So I'm just going to put this in here. It's a little tighter than what I would want, if I'm honest. So what I'm going to do to complete this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and remove this serving just to put a slightly smaller one on underneath. Uh, and then I'm going to see how that fit is. Right now, it's just a little bit tighter than I'm going to want for this target setup and this longer distance shooting. So. Remember, you followed through several protocols to get to this point. The last two have been choosing that shaft size, then choosing your vein type. So obviously you've picked your arrow. So that arrow has to match this serving. The important thing about knock fit is depending on the tension of your limbs. So this goes all the way back to one of the first segments. Okay, let's say we have this tightest fitting knock on this serving. And let's say you didn't decide to change out your limbs and you decided to just back your limb bolts out. Remember, I told you when you back those limb bolts out, you take pressure off the string and that string will move a lot further forward and back. It has a lot more play in it. So if you have a knock that's really tight and you've backed your limbs out quite a bit, that string is gonna go way forward before it pops off. 
And then it's also going to have more oscillation back as well because you pulled it further down before it let it go. So you're going to have more vibration in there. You're going to have less accuracy downrange. The other thing is if you have a knock that's too tight and it really snaps, what will happen is it will actually build a flat spot on the serving kind of like this handle right here to where your knock will just fit in that slot. But if your string turns at all, it'll turn your whole arrow with it and you're going to really lose accuracy in that aspect. So decide your arrow, check your knock fit. You want to hear that click, but you also want to be able to turn this without seeing your string moving. Honestly, this knock right here is probably the perfect fit. And if I was shooting this knock that I just lost back here, I definitely think it was fitting just a little bit too loose. Went on there, as I shot this, this would only get looser. So I would need to beef that up just a little bit more. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And get my new knocks and D-loop ready to go.